Insects are, by far, the most diverse and abundant class of arthropods. From beetles, praying mantis, mosquitoes, and dragonflies, to grasshoppers, butterflies, and social insects like ants and bees, the number of insect species is estimated at 800,000, roughly equal to the total number of species in all other classes of animals combined. The bodies of insects are divided into three regions, a head, which usually has a pair of antennae, compound eyes, and appendages modified for either biting, chewing, lapping, or piercing and sucking, a thorax, to which three pairs of legs and often two pairs of wings are attached, and an abdomen, on which body segmentation is often visible. It is the capacity for flight that distinguishes insects from all other invertebrates and has contributed to their enormous success. After the first dragonfly-like insects evolved the ability to fly, the number of insect species exploded. Flight aids in escape from predators and allows insects to travel widely and exploit a wide variety of habitats. For example, monarch butterflies migrate thousands of miles a year from breeding habitats in the west central U.S. to hibernating habitats in California and Mexico. Flight requires rapid and efficient gas exchange, which in insects is provided by a network of narrow branching tubes called tracheae, which conduct air throughout an insect's body. The flow of air in and out of the trachea is controlled by openings called spiracles. Insect flight is tied to the evolutionary direction taken by large numbers of flowering plants, which are critically dependent on insects to carry pollen from flower to flower for sexual reproduction. In turn, thousands of species of insects are dependent on these flowering plants for energy and nutrients. This symbiotic relationship is often very specific, as is the case of yucca plants and yucca moths. The yucca plants of the western high plains depend on yucca moths for sexual reproduction, and the moths depend on the yucca for energy and shelter. If one of these species were to become extinct, the other would surely face elimination too. Social behavior and specialization of roles is another interesting adaptation of certain species of insects. In northern Australia and other parts of the world, termite communities build nests that often reach over two meters in height as a result of genetically programmed cooperative behavior. Equally impressive, if not quite as large, are the honeycombs produced by bee communities. In both these insect communities, reproductive, work and protection roles are divided between different groups of individuals or castes. This division of labor allows these species to exploit the environment with an efficiency that would be impossible without their social behavior. <laughs>